Hey guys, for this glitch you will need to pick the story mission, The Walls Come Down. Hey Guardians, it is Clyde LXXV and welcome back to another episode of Destiny Glitches. How are all you beautiful Guardians doing? I'm doing fine, and guys this video took me a while to do. It's very elaborate, it's a very elaborate glitch. Um, in this video I will be showing you guys how you can go all the way into the Plaguelands from the very second story mission and in that story mission you're not allowed to go to the Plaguelands, you can't, it's impossible except I'm going to show you guys how you can do that, you can go into the raid you can go to Archon's Forge you can run around the Plaguelands with other Guardians and enjoy yourselves but first I want to give a shout out to the last video's SF Bounty winner and that was Nathan Flanagan he wanted me to wear the Revenant mask and I am doing so, looks pretty cool and of course, there is another SF bounty in this video, so if you do find it, leave it in the comment section, and if you're first, you'll get a shout-out in the next video, and you get to choose which mask I wear. Now for this, guys, I am a Titan. I have my agility up as high as it can go. I have increased height, and I need that super, not death from above, for a change, just the normal super. And of course, I will need Twilight Garrison, or you will need it as well and a sword. And we may need a rocket, but maybe not. You could also do this with a hunter. Same kind of setup. Increased uh, agility all the way up. You'll need to be a night stalker if you're a hunter with a triple tether, whatever the hell that's called, quiver. Bones of AU and triple jump. Now we started the mission up, we just want to run all the way to the first scan point. Sensor grid. Can we use that to tell how far this occupation extends? The fallen are irrelevant, Shiro. The only thing that matters now is finding Sepix. And guys, as I said, this glitch is a very elaborate way to finish a story mission. Now, I just thought it was cool, and it is bloody cool, and you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. I don't even know what to call this video. I don't even know what to call it. I could call it Getting Behind the Ball. I could call it, I don't know, Getting Into the Plaguelands, Second Story Mission. I don't bloody know. I do not know what to call this goddamn video. <laughs> okay, so here we are. We're just gonna go and scan this. Oh, god damn it. I'm picking up some strange readings. And now we're gonna make our way to the rocket yard. That is Siva. With the proper direction, it could create anything a civilization would need. At least in theory. I just lost all readings from the sensor grid. There's a monitoring station near your location. Hook into it and try to get the grid back online. No problem. Okay, so here we are in the rocket yard, guys. And as you can see, you cannot get through there, obviously, because it's not open yet. It's not open in the story mission. You cannot get to the plague lands. Except I'm going to show you guys how. Oh, well, you can because I was replaying this mission, I was like, oh, I forgot, I forgot that was closed, and I was like, what if we glitch out? Is everything going to be normal? Is there going to be enemies, and so on and so forth? So first thing we want to do is, we want to scan this, to summon the enemies. Um, I don't run away as soon as you scan it, because the ghost will disappear. Wait, wait. Just stay here until you see enemies start to appear on your little radar. Or even until it says Darkness Zone or whatever. Okay, there we go. Now we can just run outside here. Now we're going to use this out of map spot from my good buddy, Mystic Outlaw. But this is the, the preferred method that I like doing it. There we go.
we are going to jump up onto the roof. Run over to this side here, slide off, or drop off, whatever. And onto the next roof. Now we're going to get into Foundry 113. Now this is the point that you might need a rocket launcher. But just keep your sword equipped. Wanna run, slide off there. As soon as you go forward, kinda swing your sword outwards. Like outside. If you hit the loading zone, you're good. If you go in too much, you might spawn inside underneath Foundry, but you'll be stuck. As you can see, I died. The screen goes black. And I thought I buggered up. But I pressed the X button, and boom! Inside for Foundry 113. Sweet. Alright, first thing, let's run... Uh, this way here. As you know, we shouldn't be here. We shouldn't be here in the second story mission. But as you can see, we are inside Lord's Watch. And there are, in fact, enemies out here. Though in this case, there was no guardians in the area. But from here, you can run ahead, go into Archon's Ward. So just say you first... Just say you just started playing Destiny Rise of Iron from the second story mission. You can glitch into the raid, you can go play Archon's Forge, and all that good stuff. You don't even need to unlock patrol first. Now let's come all the way back into the foundry. And this time we are going to go over to the other side. We are going to head back to the rocket yard. So I can show you guys that we are indeed still in the story mission. Now uh, watch this. Oh, hold on, I need my Sparrow. Uh, I don't want to go all the way back to Lord's Watch. Look at that! We're back in the rocket yard. The darkness zone has reappeared. Enemies behind the wall. As you can see, we are behind a closed wall. So, we are somewhere where we shouldn't be. Sorry, Bungie. I love you. Alright. Now when you do this yourself, guys, you don't really need to bring your spire over this side. You can just simply go back to Lord's Watch and summon your spire, because getting up there like that is a bit of a pain in the ass. Now from here, we are going to use another out-of-map spot from my good buddy, Mystic Outlaw. He's actually got two spots in here, but this one I find a little bit easier. The other one's a bit more tricky. But this is still tricky. As you can see, I will be trying it for a bit, and then I skip until I actually get it. And I get it on this jump. There we go. Okay, we're under Foundry 113. We just want to go through here. Go to the left, there we go, and then go to the right, follow all the way down to the end, and now we are going to utilize something by another awesome glitcher, just like Mystic. Um, so Mystic find that spot, and underplayed creations find the little thing I'm going to do right now. Basically how to get like... Like on the outside of the map. Very, 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 very tricky. It's quite difficult. Um, you guys may struggle with this. It actually took me a while. As you can see, my ammo count is now down to 19. Um, basically, that's, that's why we needed the super. 
the land up there. Tricky as all hell. And from here, of course, you can just jump up here. Explore a little bit. A little bit, but don't go too far in that direction because the snow actually becomes feasible and you'll fall right through. So we want to come back, drop down, run over to this corner, look up, see this bit here, just want to jump up into there. Nope, that was a fail. We want to jump up and over, walk forward to get around like a weird little barrier. Like so, jump up onto the roof. Now from here you can go around and explore on top of all these rooms and stuff, which is pretty, pretty cool. And also, have you noticed something guys? The music is still playing. When I scanned my ghost inside the rocket yard and the enemy started to appear, it started playing that music. And that music is still playing, so if you do that glitch, if you, uh, if you scan the terminal, then glitch into Foundry, go into the Plaguelands. You'll have this music the whole time, no matter wherever you go. I think if you go into the Archon Sports, the music stops and disappears. But it is pretty cool. But let's get back up here and carry on with one of the coolest bits of the glitch. Oh, and you guys might be asking, why the hell am I doing this in the first place? We glitched past the wall, but... Now I'm gonna glitch back inside that room. Which, if we look over here... What's that? We'll come in here, and oh my god, look where we are. We are inside an unloaded version of that room in the rocket yard and look there's that uh, doorway which was shut but in the unloaded version it's actually open it's weird out there would be where the rocket yard would be of course but there is nothing there because it's not looted that's out there and it is solid but there is a barrier so you can't get any further let's explore where these little rooms used to be That, of course, is where the com big-ass computer thing was. That's where I scanned with my ghost. Okay, shall we go up the top? Have we look around? Yes, why not? I mean, there is some cu uh, like computer terminals like scattered around. There's another one there. Now, oh wait, that's actually this, that's actually where the spawn box would be, where the enemies would come out of. But let's jump up here and what's that right up there? Like a wee room up there. Let's jump up and take a look. As you can see, nothing in here. This is actually the room where, like, the the big Siva growth was coming out of. So actually, getting in here is pretty cool. We can climb up on these girders, but 
every all the walls and stuff look way different. So let's drop down, let's load back into the room, and let's finish this mission. But let me use a heavy ammo first because we will have ads to kill as soon as it loads. Uh, watch this, this is pretty cool. You see the door is open, the wall is open. And then, boom! It's closed again. Turn around, boom! All the enemies drop from the ceiling. Let's kick some ass, and let's finish this story mission. And I'm like, this is, this is some bloody glitch. Pretty damn cool. I don't know, I call it the walls come down. Super glitch, something like that. A l super elaborate glitch. Yeah, it's impossible to name this glitch because we get behind that wall, we get into the playgrounds that you're not supposed to. You could glitch into the raid. We got into an unloaded version of this. It's crazy. It really is a super glitch. It's really cool, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It took me a while to make this. Um, I recorded some of the footage yesterday, and a little bit today. Well, I, well, over midnight. It was basically the same day. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and until next time, Guardians, this is Claudio XXXV, and as always, thanks for watching.